Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to my channel Petite and Curvy. I am Kopal. I am a 4 foot 11 inches tall blogger from London. On this channel, I strive to find clothing that make petite and curvy women like myself look absolutely gorgeous. So a very warm welcome to you. In today's video, I am going to talk to you about the perfect fit of jeans for petite and curvy women. Finding jeans is like finding a needle in a haystack if you're petite and also curvy. There's so many styles of jeans these days. There's mom jeans, skinny jeans, high-waisted jeans, mid-rise jeans. Then there's the boot cut, there's the wide fit, there's the cropped fit, then there is the slit knee jeans. It, it gets really confusing <laughs> as to what kind of jeans should you really be wearing? So today I'm going to solve your problem. You can see me trying on different types of jeans, um, which will give you a good idea of what kind of jeans would suit your body shape. As I said earlier, I am 4 foot 11 inches tall. I am a size medium or a size 12 when it comes to jeans. All the pairs of jeans I'm going to show you today are from ASOS. The links to each of these are mentioned in the description box below. So let's first talk about where exactly your jeans should sit at the waist if you are petite and also curvy. <laughs> so generally for petites, high-waisted jeans are the best type of jeans. You should always go for high-waisted jeans. The reason for that is they visually elongate the legs. You would also need to see how long your torso is. If you have a very short, if you have quite a short torso, then a mid-rise jeans would be more suitable in order to create a more balanced look for your body. But usually for, uh, for petite women, high-waisted jeans are usually considered to be the best. Shall we compare? I'm going to show you a comparison between high-waisted jeans and low-waisted jeans. So as you can see in these videos, high-waisted jeans tend to elongate my legs. I look slightly taller. Whereas low-waisted jeans tend to make me look shorter than I am. Low-waisted jeans highlight the torso, the tummy area more. So if you are curvy, low-waisted jeans also will, you know, there is that tendency to make you look broader because your tummy area will be exposed much more compared to high-waisted jeans. Now let's compare a mid-rise jeans with a high-waisted jeans. As you can see, high-waisted jeans sit at the narrowest part of my waist. So my waist looks slightly smaller. I can wear crop tops with these jeans and it's generally more comfortable compared to the mid-rise. Mid-rise jeans is also comfortable. However, I, I don't find wearing crop tops comfortable with mid-rise. I don't have flat abs. So for me personally, high-waisted jeans are better. Uh, Mid-rise jeans tend to be okay. They work when I wear slightly longer tops and when I tug them in. And in general, I find high-waisted jeans much more comfortable for me. So my final verdict is that if you are petite and curvy, then high-waisted jeans would be the most suitable style of jeans for you. I would now like to talk about the ideal length of jeans for you. I'd now like to compare a bootcut jeans with cropped jeans. As you can see in these two looks side by side, the bootcut jeans are slightly longer. They cover my entire foot and so you can only see the tip of my shoes peeking through. What this does is it actually makes me look slightly taller. So with bootcut jeans, you can wear ankle boots and you can wear pumps or any other styles of shoes. Although pointed shoes would be the most suitable to go along with bootcut or flared jeans. Whereas if you were to wear crop jeans, you would be able to wear any type of shoes really. And they are more suitable for casual styles, uh, like with sneakers, for example, or with over-the-knee boots or knee-high boots or you know those kind of shoes uh, that require less fabric at the ankle area. Now let's talk about the different styles of jeans. 
For instance, I'm going to show you comparisons between a wide-legged jeans, mom jeans, <laughs> bootcut jeans, slim fit jeans, and a paper bag waist jeans. So this will give you a very good idea of how these different styles would look on you. <laughs> my body shape the most and they're very comfortable. My least favorite ones were the uh, wide legged and the paperback style. They did not suit my body shape as much as the others did. The paperback style I did not like at all. I think it was too baggy and uh, if you're curvy and if you go for those kind of jeans they'd make you look wider than you are. Um, paperback styles are very good for petite women but again the cut of the jeans is also very important so it was if it was a paperback style mom jeans or a straight cut you know those kind of jeans would look really amazing but this was a more relaxed fit um, and, and and that's why I think it didn't suit uh, my body as much so my recommendation to you is to try as many jeans as possible even though we might all be petite um, our heights you know are, might be different. So one of the pairs of jeans I wore was supposed to have the slits at the knees but the slits fell below my knees because I am shorter within the petite category as well. So again it depends on how tall you are even though you might be buying from the petite section. So try as many jeans as possible. That is the only way that you will be able to find your perfect pair. But again, I would still say that high-waisted bootcut or flare jeans would be your absolute best friends. High-waisted skinny jeans would be my second choice. If you're curvy and if you have wider thighs on the other hand, skinny jeans would not be as suitable for you. Um, skinny jeans can, can tend to make your thighs look even wider. So again, it depends. You have to wear and see. Um, this is something that bootcut jeans don't do. So if you have wider thighs, then go for the bootcut. Um, if you have medium-sized thighs, then you could go for the skinny um, jeans as well. Again, it depends on what you find more comfortable. And I think that's what is the most important thing when it comes to styling and fashion. So that's the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that I can create more videos for you. Um, and if you would like me to cover any particular content, any particular topics uh, related to petite fashion, please, please, please put them in the comment section and I will definitely create awesome content for you. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day, everyone.